Kids. My name is Nan. My name is Sue. Hi children. Welcome to Atoto Shambani. Do you know milk is gotten from a cow? Today, Mwalimu Jogona will teach us parts of a cow and how to milk it. You are good children, the uh, future farmers. You are the future farmers. Do you know that? Because Guka here is growing old, I want you to be the future farmers. Then you keep cows like this. This is a cow shed. You can see the roofs, the cows inside here, and you can see the trough. Can you see the trough? Yes. And the food for the cow? Yes. Food for the cow, the napier grass, the straw, the maize stovers, and the concentrates. That's what the cow eats, all right? Yes. And this is her plate. She eats from this plate. It's not like the human being plate. It's a big plate. And this is where she takes the mineral salts. You see the plate for the mineral salts? We normally put mineral salts here and the cow leaks from here. That's where she takes the water from that bowl over there. And now this is the cow. The cow with the two eyes, like us. How many eyes do we have? So even the cow has two eyes. It has two ears. How many touch your ears? Everybody touch your ears. See, now look at the ears of the cow. I cannot touch them because she will run away. But you can see them, the two ears. So from here, from the head, we have the two ears, the two eyes, the two nostrils. Can you see that? Yeah. So what do we have? What do we have on the head of the cow? Can somebody tell me what we have on the head of the cow? The yes. The eyes. The how many? Two eyes. Two eyes. Another somebody else? The ears. The ears. Touch your ears. How many years? Two. Two years. What else do we have on the cow? The nose. The nose. Touch your ear. Touch your nose. Okay. We are almost the same. And it has a big mouth. Can you see the mouth? Hey, hey. Ah. Come, this to come, this. And you see the mouth. Yeah. All right. Right, the big mouth, a big mouth. mouth. What is inside the mouth? What is inside the mouth? What is inside your mouth? The tongue. The tongue, good. Uh -huh. The teeth. The teeth. Is there anything else? No. No. Do you know? The gum. The gum, oh good. Oh, these are clever children. The gum. Uh -huh. Do you know that a cow does not have teeth on both the front part of it? One side only. Which side? I don't think you know. A cow has teeth on the lower jaw. The lower jaw. Here, here. Here, here. Look at it. Look at this one. She has teeth here. But on the upper one, she does not have teeth, okay? But that part is very strong. It bites. It is strong and it can even crush your fingers, all right? You didn't know that. 
She has only teeth on the lower part, the front part, the incisors, the front teeth, only the, the lower jaw. When it goes inside, on this, the inside the whole mouth, it has got the molars and the premolars inside on both sides. All right? Yes. A cow has how many teeth? Yes. 20. 20 teeth inside her mouth, not like human beings. Human beings have got 32 teeth. A cow has only 20. From there, <clears throat> I think we shall go to the other side so that we can learn the parts on the other side. Let's go to the other side. We are, we are going to the other side of the cow. The other side of the cow, that is the back side of the cow, we have one long tail. You see the tail of the cow yes. right between the legs. The tail is a, a, is a, is a, 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 way, a kind of a, a tool for the cow. When the cow has been touched by something, it uses the tail to remove. You see what it is doing yes. with the tail? If I touch here, you will see it moving and then swinging the tail to blow away. If it is a, an insect, if it's a fly, it, it wipes the flies with the, with the tail. It hits the flies with the tail, that way. So it is used by the cow. This is what it uses to keep away the flies, to keep away the insects, right? Then from there, we'll go down this way to the udder. This is the udder, the udder of the cow. Nyonyo. Simunaita nyonyo. See the nyonyo. Nyonyo is divided into four parts. The nyonyo is divided into four equal parts. We have the right hard side with one teat and the other side with another teat. Then on the left hand side, chambers on this side, we have one teat and the other side one teat. So how many teat at the rear, at the back? Four. Four are together, but at the back, at the rear here, right at the back here, we got two, how many? Two. two. Two teeth, and this is where this is where the milk comes from. You you, you wash the udder with a cloth and some water, and then you hold the teeth like this. It has got an opening. Can you see the opening? Eh? You hold it like that, and then you 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 uh, you press. When you press it like that, the milk comes. The milk is not here, but it is made up here. It is stored here. So it will, you go up and the milk comes. <laughs> you can see the milk? You see the reaction? <laughs> you see? <laughs> you want to see? The milk coming, not fear, but it is flows from here into the teeth, like that. Right? And the other one. Now, the milk comes from this teeth, and it's clean milk right from inside. It has no bacteria, but when it comes out here into the air, it gathers some bacteria outside here, all right? So you have to use the best method of removing the milk from the cow. Don't touch it, it will kick us. Uh, so that you will have quality milk. You have good milk for drinking.
drinking or or making tea. So you have to wash the other very well with a clean cloth, wipe it out, and when you do that, since the water and the cloth, you are, massa you are massaging, you are massaging the other, all right? You are, by so doing, the milk is, will come from the rib, because milk is made in the ribs, the rib cage, and then it is brought back here for storage. So you are only removing the ones which is here, okay? And you have to do it very well. You have to finish everything so that the cow will not get sick. If you don't remove it well, the cow will get sick. What kind of sickness? What we call mastitis. Mastitis, all right? Because the milk is already made, it has already been made and it is stored there. If it is not removed, it will ferment. And if it ferments inside the udder, that is a disease. Now let's see the children milking. Milk, milk, milk a cow. Milk, milk, milk is sweet. Milk, milk, milk a cow. Milk, milk, milk is sweet. We are taking a short break. We will have a question and answer session when we return.